Yes, my people, what's good? This is the non-hype December releases. So basically all the releases for December from brands like Saucony, uh, Diodora, Asics, Akaha, New Balance, basically anything other than Jordans and Yeezys. So if you're into real kicks, stick around to the end because there's some real gems and there's a lot to get through. So let's go. Okay, as always, we start with ASICs and we've got the Atmos aged world map or the old world map. I'm not sure what they're gonna call it. Uh, as you probably know, uh, Atmos and ASICs just love geography for some reason and they keep doing these map kind of version of Gel Light 3s. Uh, it's, you know, a great idea, a nice concept. Obviously we had the world map originally a few years back. Then earlier this year, we had the subway pack, which consisted of the New York and Tokyo subway maps. And now to round off the year, we've got the old world map. So the full shoe design is completely covered in this sort of illustration of an old world map. And it's been desaturated and aged to make it sort of feel a bit more authentic when there's a nice aged sail midsole, uh, as well as these nice sort of navy blue hits on the stripes and on the outer sole. Set to release on the 12th of this month, so you haven't got long. Uh, they will definitely sell out very quickly. For me personally, I just don't think we need it. I'd much rather get the original world map and that'll be it, job done. Also, another A6 Gel Light 3 that's soon to release is the recycled felt gray pink. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't really got much details on it. I don't know when it's releasing. I know it will be about £130, if that's what, about $140 but it's just a really nice and unique GR. Some sort of like recycled fabric that's then overlaid in like that see-through, probably recycled plastic. As and when they come out, I'm definitely gonna grab a pair. I reckon to be fair, these will sit for a bit, so you can probably end up finding them at Foot Locker for about 50 quid or something. Now New Balance and Salehi Bembry's back at it again, this time on the 990 V2. He obviously had a lot of success with the 2002R, the sort of orange and blue colorways. And this really feels like the sort of continuation of that with that real furry suede sort of pastel tones. Quite unique and I don't think we've ever seen that sort of end branding in chenille before. So I'd like to touch that if that's all right. It's also got his signature thumbprint pattern across the heel counter which if you don't know, if you've seen his Crocs, for instance, that whole sort of 3D design is, is his thumbprint, uh, is kind of his thing. So there's no actual set release date for the 990s, but it is supposed to be this year, so we haven't got long. Uh, so it could be any minute, keep a lookout. And yet we've got another collab with Bodega and New Balance. They seem to not be able to leave each other alone. In this 960 that's been dubbed the Age of Discovery, which is releasing on December 10th, so not far. It's a 9060 with a take on modern renaissance, taking some inspiration from classical art, ancient architecture and the infinite sky, uh, built up of a still blue nubuck, hairy mushroom suede uh, and a nice gummy sole. Yo, it's definitely a standout shoe. I don't hate it by any means, but I'm really not a fan of that like big chunky outer sole, especially around the back. Just kind of looks like a rhino foot. Um, so definitely not for me, but you know, you crack on. If that's your thing, then fill your boots. And now the final one for New Balance is the 580 Stussy Real Mad, which is actually a take on the original MT580 that Stussy and New Balance did back in 2003. And the OG was actually a Japan exclusive, which was based on the same colorway Stussy did on the Nike Air Hirachi in those sort of brown and yellows that you might have seen because they, I think they re-released it earlier this year. So then Stussy and New Balance used that same colorway and made a, uh, a 580 which you know, you'll be damned if you can find a pair now. So much like how Nike did with the Air Max 90 Bacons, they've released sort of a GR version of a very hype old retro. Yeah, it's a nice shoe. Uh, the problem is you're probably never gonna get your hands on the original. So this kind of is your, your booby prize as it were. Uh, you know, I'm, I might actually look at a pair if I ever get them in hand, I'll have a look. I like the brown colorway, but I really like the originals. And if you want them, they're coming out on December 10th. Okay, and just a quick one from Nike, and this is actually probably my favorite Air Max one that's come out this year. It's the LeBron times Liverpool FC. Bit of a mad one, I know, but uh, I think the reason they're doing it is because LeBron's got a stake in a like Fenway Sports Group, like an investment company. 
who have actually sort of got a stake in Liverpool FC. So they've come out with a shoe to kind of honor that whole relationship. And it's a follow up on the LeBron 9 Reverse Liverpool, which they released back in September this year. We have like the black and green leather, then you've got the nice white mesh, the dark sort of navy and green hits on the outer sole and the red sock liner. And there's some real beautiful detailing on the hill where you've got uh, the logo for Fenway Sports Group and YNWA, which stands for You'll Never Walk Alone, which is Liverpool's kind of mantra. I think it, it came out of the Hillsborough disaster. But, you know, they know what they're doing. It's a beautiful shoe, um, releasing on December 17th, and I'm 100% gonna go for it, so fingers crossed. Let me know what you think. Are these the best Air Max one of the year, or is there something better? All right, now something from Mizuno, which we don't always get, but this is really special to be fair. So. If you don't know Foot Patrol, like a UK-based uh, sneaker boutique, they've been celebrating their 20th anniversary with sort of different special events and different collabs this year. And they're finishing the year off with a collection with Bazuno called the Post Match, which is kind of inspired by the Qatar World Cup that's going on at the moment. The collection consists of a 95 contender and a football jersey that's inspired by the Florentine kit from 2000, 2001, I think. So as you can see, the contenders sort of kitted out in this like Iron Gate gray, they're calling it, and real dark black and gray hues, as well as like a football boot leather for the toe box. And then you've got them really nice hits of teal just to really make it pop. The more I look at this shoe, the more I flipping like it. You've also got branding on the tongue, which actually says Foot Patrol 20th Anniversary Mizuno. And that jersey's pretty sick to be fair as well. I love that kind of split up, like mismatched sections and everything. The whole collection's releasing on December 10th as well, which is a pretty busy day. I haven't got any Mizunos and I want some, and I think this will be a good starting pair. All right, a quick one from Suckany, who I think this is their final pack for the year. It's the Planet Pack, uh, which is actually pushing the boundaries between Earth and space, so that's good. Uh, Sakoni Originals are releasing the Planets Pack consisting of a Shadow 6000 Mercury, a Grid Azura 2000 Venus, and a Shadow 5000 Mars. Each shoe features a mesh base, pigskin suede overlays, and details on the tongue that actually call out that planet's distance from the sun. I really love the, uh, the Shadow 5000 Mars. I think that yellow and red sick, to be fair. A nice speckled midsole. They're available now, so if you do fancy any of these pairs, I think they're still available. So crack on over to Sakoni and see what you can do. And lastly, let's give a little shout out to Kahu, who are rounding off the year with their Northern Lights pack. If you might or might not know, Kahu are a Finnish brand. So they're obviously based in Finland, where for a lot of the time, the sky is fucking Northern lighted. So they've taken the inspiration from the night sky on certain times of the year into this pack, which consists of two silhouettes, but two variations of each silhouette, the Fusion 2.0 and the Aria 95s. Each pair comes in a mix from dark navy and brown to a lively pink and green variation with speckled soles and laces to really sort of nail that Northern Light theme home. So that's it, that's your non-hype releases for December. If you're into more than just the hype and you like, you know, real kicks, so Asics, Sakoni, Diodora, whatever, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe, drop me a comment, Drop me a DM on Instagram. I hope you enjoy the run up till Christmas. And if you're gonna go out and get up to all sorts and you can't be good, then be careful, yeah? Big up yourself. Bruh.